Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We're going to take a little break from the uh, politics for uh, this video and we're just going to tackle a jewelry unboxing. Got uh, a couple of smaller lots here. So to start with, we've got this uh, quite pretty piece here. It's a gold tone with the gray rhinestones in there. And then we have this bracelet. Uh, here it's a stretch bracelet. It's got decent stretch on it. Um, very pretty though. Like it's got that on that the top side, and then it's got this here without the rhinestones on the on the back side here. These panels, but uh, yeah, overall it's a very very pretty piece. And then we have this uh, necklace that I just made last night here. Uh, with a silver plated chain uh, and the wood beads. And then a pair of earrings that I made here with the bronze tone loops above the little plastic beads there. Then we have these that I made three of, these wood, be wood seeds. Um, and they're painted black and red. I uh, may end up making more of these ones yet as I've got quite a bit of these uh, seed seed bead ones there. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably end up making several more of them yet. Just nice, simple, easy ones there. And then these ones, I made one of these, the red glass bead there, but uh, I'll probably end up making more of those as well because I've got a few more of these glass beads there with the little hooks through them. And then we have this uh, large faux pearl plastic bead necklace there with the three layers. So that's definitely one that uh, we'll try and sell there too. It's very big and bulky though. So and there's this choker here. And this choker has a little dangle beads um, coming down from these little sunburst panels. Then we have this necklace here with the green, large green uh, plastic. I guess they're more of a teal. And then I made this bracelet here. A very simple, delicate bracelet. And then we have these that I made as well with some similar wood beads to that other one there. So, I mean, they could technically go together. And then there's these faux pearl earrings that I made. And then these. These are glass beads. And then there's this one, which is really cool. It's kind of got that um, crisscrossed, almost honeycombed look to it. Very unique. And then we have these earrings. Which do have a little bit of scratch on the little gold tone parts, but um, I think they're pretty enough that we can get, get past that and it's not overly scraped, just a little bit. And then these we have the purple plastic beads, and then we have a green version of those. And then there's this bib style necklace here as well. And then earrings that kind of kind of match that. Um, and then we've got this uh, Egyptian revival type style and then there's the earrings to go with it. It's very unique, very pretty. And then we have 
have this. The long necklace. The wood and plastic beads. And then I made this ring here. And then we have these earrings. Must be vintage. Sorry, my dog is barking in the background. Shut up. And then we have this with the little crystals in them. It's a little belly button ring. And then a little nose ring. And this is by you and I. Just a very pretty multi-strand layered necklace there. Again, kind of bulkier, so. And then there's this in a cuff. Had to really clean this thing up, but I think it ended up coming out nice. A lot of... Uh, our muscle into cleaning that up. And then there's this guy here as well that I had to clean up. Very pretty cuff. And there's this little wood ring. And I made this necklace with this uh, tin gold tone feather. I made this as well. And then I made this necklace as well. And this pair of hoop earrings. And I made this. And I made this one as well. And I made this one with the little arrowhead on it. And then I made this. Um, this is one of those that I had designed with clip-on earrings. So you can actually uh, swap out the pendants if you like. And then I made this ring with one of my tiger's eye gems that I had. And then we got this with that uh, faux leather snake skin. And this kind of on a dog tag, but it actually has a saying on it. Um, their hearts are bound to you. Their hope is in your hands. And there's this pearl necklace, faux pearl necklace as well. And then there's this plastic wrap strand and then there's this one that I made kind of that rolled silver plated chain and then I made this one as well and that's a key This one. You can see this used to be a pin. The pin was broken. I turned it into a pendant. And then there's this one here as well that I made with the open works. And then a uh, um, silver toned uh, Omega chain. And then there's these wood earrings. They look like very 70s hair. And then there's this one here. This one's got a really good stretch on it. And these are 
glass faux pearls. And then there's these earrings. And then we have this little bracelet by uh, the Roman brand. And then I made these earrings. And then there's this little wire wrap ring as well. And then there's this ring. And then there's this leather bracelet here as well, kind of that boho surf style. And then there's this one, which is really unique as well. It's cloth. And then there's this layered bracelet. And then we have these earrings. These earrings. And then I made this necklace here as well last night. And we have these earrings. Those sassy tassels on them. hoop earrings, which if I can get some untangled from this other thing. So it's simple little hoops, or big hoops I guess. And then we've got these, which are kind of again that uh, Torque Egyptian Revival style earrings. And then there's this splattered bracelet here as well. And then we have these earrings. We have these as well. A pair of earrings that I made as well last night. And this is a very unique style of necklace with its bib style with the tassels coming down. Lots going on there. several rings so we've got this ring which I think is silver plated and then this ring this one's got a little bit of wear on the back but it kind of blends into the rest of it and then it's got the little mark of sights on it and then there's this guy as well And there's this one with a little stretch back, so it's adjustable. And this one's adjustable. And then I need this as well. So we've got the snake chain. And then one hoop earring that I paired with this other earring to make a pendant. And we've got this little honeycombed bangle. Okay, oh, got one of my earrings on there. Okay, so I did make these earrings as well, very similar to some of the, one of the other pairs of pearl ones I made. And then we have this bracelet as well. And I made this one. Except it's 
it's not sitting right. It's supposed to be the other way. Anyway, you got the picture. It's supposed to... There we go. That one's supposed to flip like that. And there's these big, bulky earrings. I made this necklace. And this necklace I made as well. And this one with the uh, turquoise on it. Like something someone probably had made that one. And then we have this necklace that I made. And then there's these earrings. It was a necklace that was supposed to match up, but the necklace was destroyed. And then now uh, we have this bangle as well. And then I made this earring, or this uh, necklace with this earring. And I made this pin. And then there's these earrings. And I made this necklace. This actually sits like this. This necklace here as well. And one of those bib style necklaces. And get it straightened out. kind of what it looks like and this was branded um, it was by a brand called Deb I need this necklace here as well this long drop pendant and then these were Nice new earrings. They're tiered. So we have this, with these glass beads and that stretch bracelet. And then there's this one. And there's this necklace here as well. And I made these little guys. And then I made this little simple necklace. And I made this one. So this one kind of sits like this with the hearts and the least angle below it. And I made these earrings. And then there's this. There's a new set. It's got the necklace and the earrings. By Pacific Styles. And then there's this little hair clip. And there's this necklace. We have this one that I made as well, with the little leaf and the drop pendant, and I put the little wood bead above it. We have this longer 
Spears style necklace as well. Then there's this necklace that I that I uh, got in this last lot as well. And I made this necklace with this thick chain. The only thing that really suits this large pendant is a thick chain. And then there's this branded necklace as well. It's just a simple little flower on the end of a faux pearl strand. And this one I believe is by 1928. Is that the way? Yeah, 1928, yeah. And then there's this ring. And this simple necklace here with the little pearls on the end, faux pearls. And then I designed this one with the little glass faux pearls dangling down. It's a drop pendant. And there's this long strand necklace. And then there's this one that I made. Kind of just a fun little pendant. And I made this one here. I had to do a lot of fixing on this one here to make that pendant so I could actually use it. this earring here to make a pendant. It was a branded one. Like Duple, I think that is. And then there's this. And then there's this choker in there as well. Reminds me of a dog collar. And then I made this charm bracelet. Has the sun panels on it. The yin yang. It's another little sun panel. And the little agates. And then I turned this into a pin. These hoop earrings, and a simple little silver tone bracelet. And this here, this just stretches, so it'll design, it's designed to be able to a choker. And then there's this faux pearl necklace. Then I made these earrings. There's this ring. And I made this necklace. And then there's this little hair clip. This necklace. And then I put together this necklace here as well. A pendant just slides off. So I mean you can change this pendant if you like. Um, but I kind of gave it that western style. The chain was already a western so I thought this kind of suited that western style. Combined a couple different earrings to make this pendant. And then there's this pin here that I made. Um, it was originally kind of falling apart in terms of stuff, so I replaced some of the rhinestones. Um, and then it was just boring without anything in the center, so I put in a uh, 
pink dyed mother of pearl into the center of that. So it's just kind of taking something that was falling apart and making it something nice again. And I had to do a lot of scrubbing to clean that up too because it was kind of, it looked roached, but some silvo cleaned that right up. And then there's this one here that my son kind of likes. It's got this little ball on it. It reminds me of the old disco balls. And there's this little crazy pin as well. And then here's a nice little honeycombed ring. And there's this that I designed to be an anklet. And there's this Eiffel Tower keychain. Most keychains I just put into my scrap piles for selling lots and stuff, but Eiffel Tower is kind of a, a good theme, and this one looked brand new. And then I've got another bracelet very, very similar to this um, that I'm already selling, so I might just add a number two to this one. And then there's this charm bracelet here as well. Um, it has kinds of all kinds of different themes on it. Um, and there's this one that's brand new as well. And then there's this wood bead necklace. And there's this hair clip. this little Christmas pin then I made this pin you can see it was originally designed that it could be an earring I think that would be or maybe a pendant or a necklace I'm not sure but I like it as a pin and then we have this which is a necklace I made out of a couple of earrings and then finally, the last one here, we have this plastic bead necklace here as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be putting out a, another little fun political video here shortly.